Hi, Taurus. All right. <clears throat> welcome to this place. Excuse me. If you've been, if this is your first time, and welcome back if you're returning. So, Taurus, uh, let me share a few messages that came before we jump into your cards. Um, I feel like something about the dentist. Um, Or, or I guess there's that. There's also something about um, <clears throat> just keeping up with things. Something about keeping up with things. Uh, and this month, <clears throat> there's a little bit of a rearrangement of routine. Um, I feel like that's highlighted. You also have this card, the Ray of Light. It's like an overall energy for you this month. Oh, happy opposite birthday. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Ray of Lights is in the air realm. And, pardon me, I feel parched. Okay, so, <clears throat> the Ray of Light is about focus. And, um... In perspective so when it arrives it's calling you it's reminding you um, that where you focus your attention like where the attention goes your energy flows there uh, and I'm looking down and seeing the words vision for the future and you want to focus on your vision, right? This light that's able to be seen. Um, and again, the the because I heard there's positive projection. You know, like a projector is taking something very small and making it um, accessible, right? To more to more than one. It's like it's a it's being more accessible, I guess, to the group or to the wider picture. And so, you could also ask whatever this ray of light energy is to help you focus on your vision for the future. This could also be really positive, supportive people in your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause that helps too. Like, yeah, I heard, yeah, I, I know you can do it, you know? And of course, I guess for you saying it to yourself and believing in yourself also helps. So here it's suggesting because you're, you're meant to look at your dreams, um, as if they're coming into form. Okay, and when it is balanced, this ray of light, then a person is able to visualize positive outcomes, which is that positive projection, but then also bring them into form, right? It's not just an idea. It's not just a dream. It has that visionary aspect is there, but <clears throat> it's also has its practical points to keep it steady, right? Now, if it is, if it's imbalanced, it says that a person could be fixated upon what one does not want. So maybe just watching that a little bit would be helpful. And it says to bring into balance if needed. It says fiercely re redirect your, your attention, right? Um, okay. Uh, work for you is highlighted or your 10th house is highlighted. I feel like between, oh yeah, now, between now and your birthday, also now in May, uh, there's also something very much growing um, for you, like expanding for you. This could be very, very, uh, is the word auspicious correct? That's positive, right? Um, but it does not come without effort. It, it's, it's like, and then I saw that thing again, wherever you put, where one puts their attention, then this is where energy flows, right? Um, also, your Taurus house, if you're aware of that house that Taurus sits in and your map is also highlighted. Uh, in a, and I, yes, we'll leave it like that. Okay, so, my words are sort of getting, like, tumbled on. It's because I'm sort of excited. There's so many new things that I'm looking forward to, but there's a lot of things I know I need to do. But I'm not pushing myself about it, but I am making a bit of a... a um, how do I explain it? Like, 
there's a bigger plan so as I chip away at the little parts in between it's going to ensure that that's going to happen anyway right I'm not trying to over push myself and get everything done in one day you know I have to check myself on that a lot but so moving along moving along let's open your cards okay we have the rose the star mm, the scorpion the wave, the whale, and the bee. I heard maybe you should take these and make a make a story. Um, hold on a second. Oh, you want to kind of, instead of staring at my mug, why don't you look over and just observe. We'll put a rubber tree in there. <clears throat> okay, Taurus. So something, um, what's the story I see? Something bloomed. Something, it's blooming, it's open. Something's open um, at this point in time. Um... <clears throat> The energy that I'm picking up on is as if, is, is as if, so there's something growing, it's healthy, there's a timing to it though, like, not everything happens all at once, it's, is this what we were just talking about, it, it's like, okay, this, this is a bud, there's buds here, but then like the flowers open over here, right, this flower's three quarters of the way open, so, there's something about this process and I just saw the words fierce passion fierce seemed a little extreme to me maybe it's a scorpion energy that's scorpion's low vibe though right that's um it's the low man on the totem pole, the scorpion. Um, <clears throat> There's something you've been asking, someone's been asking for. But they had to let go of something. They had to um, <clears throat> not be, I heard, not be afraid of, of themselves or just not be afraid of... I guess letting go. Um, and then I saw the word fear again. Interesting. So we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, and then Libra or Venus energy. Give me a second. What do you do that's, um, how do I, exp what's the question? Okay, part of the reason you have to do little things at a time is because when you don't, it all fills up and it feels too full and it gets blocked. And a person, and somebody wants to like, um, it, it seems too much. It's like a big pile of dishes. So. Let me mix these up. It's kind of interesting to just purely use these cards. Let's see, these three. Aquarius, Pisces. Um, just a second. Is 
it's like two worlds lined up two worlds lined up um you, know, you can't force the flower to open right but at this point something is very receptive here um There's something about a, a string, like a, I'm seeing like this red cord or like this red rope or string and it's it's actually um, cut on both ends. But if you were just to look at like one part of it, you'd think it was still connected. Um, I feel like that's something old. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's an ex. I don't, I don't know where this comes from. The letter R, the letter B. Um, I heard you don't, you don't need to worry about um, someone. You don't need to worry about someone else acting inappropriately. Like it's not your job to correct it. And then I saw some, I saw like a bull and a smaller, like it was like going, going to its place to rest. And, um, so it's recognizing like what's safe or like what's, uh, w what interesting energy, um, what, well, let me try to tune into that image. What is that? What is that bull doing? What's around it? Oh, you know what it's doing is it's the it's the ray of light. It's the vision energy. The whole premise or the overall the overarching energy of this is to look at the future, right? It would be very easy, I guess, right now to sort of just be in this present moment. And that's a good place, but it's almost like there's a stretching energy that wants you to look out and beyond. Um, not only what you are within, in that small... Didn't we talk about this? These concentrics, like, oh, here I am, you small circle, bup, 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 out. You want to you wanna look at all these, look at the layers, and at very least know where you are in that center point, and then what the outer, like, the outer range is. Does this make sense? Um, because I could actually see this rose in the wave card is showing me like really beautiful, like emotional satisfaction about something like in, and it comes through patience, you know, and there's something really beautiful here too. You know, I heard a lot of create creative energy flowing to like to and through you. If you're aware, whatever house Scorpio sits in, there's some kind of work to be done there. I can't tell you exactly what that is because uh, it sits differently for each of you. So if you're aware of that, that'll be helpful. Um, I guess in a wider term, I could see that there are things that have to be accomplished that are kind of... Um, it could be kind of intense, but it's just that there's a lot of things... You'll know what you don't need because it will have cobwebs all over it. Do you know what I mean? You have cobwebs all over it. Um, it's like it'll be easy to feel what feels good. Do you know? Do you know? Um, the wheel and the star is beautiful too. The, both of these are about guidance. They're about direction. Um there's like a deep instinctual energy in here and it's very healing like it's it's very much in line with nature you know with the natural with the natural laws of life and that's a good thing because the soul feels more comfortable there you know when we know nature when we know nature our own nature i heard there's nothing to be afraid of interesting so I keep seeing Pisces energy. 
they're reading maybe or um, give me a second I guess for some this could be an emotional month if you want to go there uh, because it's your opposite energy Scorpio time when I'm recording this it's it's a it's a deep dive if you want um, I heard don't try to use that in different layers, right? These concentric circles we were talking about, the center, out, 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 like a bullseye. There's also, like, depths to that. Like, there's concentric rings that are also beneath it. And I'm seeing this as a portal, right? The oceanic portal, do you remember? Um, here, I feel like that's kind of representing that right now, right? And one, you were, you were down and now you're going up. I heard, so thank you for being patient in the in-betweens. Um, and working on your honesties. Uh, I guess something financial, Scorpion and the Bee, it, something financial could be a part of this. I don't know how you want to play that out. I guess some of you could have a wave of money or a wave of, again, something that helps you feel solid, that helps you n to not worry. Um, you know, maybe there's a balancing out of, of that kind of energy, too. Um meaning that it, it doesn't feel up and down, it's like more consistent. And I do feel like the more work that you do put in, the it's kind of the better, it, it, is, it is the better results that you get, but it's not to push it like every moment, right? Because there's timing here, or again, like intuitive energy. I heard not that you're meant to figure out all the answers, but just to tap into what, um, maybe it's what could be. Cool. Keep seeing like rose bushes um, in front of a house. Um, and there are, there are different stages to things. There's a water trine also, water trine. So again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but, the, but what I'm seeing is like, there's some positive, um, the, the power of emotion right now is really strong. And what's, what's beautiful about it is, it's like someone's able to take the sour with the sweet Meaning, I guess, look at something, like, realistically. But there's so much more positivity than there is anything else. So if there's any wave of, of emotion or situation that you've been working through, I feel like you're going to feel a lot better about it. You know? It's like, I feel like something's sort of protected here, in a way. And, um... Again, someone's been working so hard and being patient in... in And kind of like holding it together. Um, I feel like this is also since um, last, like, well, I'm seeing like March, February, March. There's something about that time that you've been, right, this is, you know, like a nine, actually that's kind of a nine month process, right? So what have you, if you thought of yourself as you were creating something physically, like what, what, what has changed or been created physically in that way, right? And now it's sort of like, why is he nurturing something or making it more comfortable? I heard it's it being inclusive, like being included or like a part, connected with others, but also understanding your boundaries within it. Um, I heard feeling, feeling safe enough to like talk about it or like comfortable enough to talk about it. Um, somebody's father or like grandfather. 
Hmm. All right, 2002. I'd say that's a good mirror. The sun is actually getting quite warm, which I am not complaining about because the sun is so beautiful. Um, feels good, you know, especially like sucking it up before the seasons change. And I just saw someone cleaning the windows. Oh, the crane, beautiful. The crane's a messenger, right? It gives a gift, too. The river. A lot of Aquarius. I keep seeing Aquarius Pisces, Aquarius Pisces. So, rainbow. Um... There's an old Scorpio reading, your opposite, called uh, The Bridge. I think there's two of them, but uh, if you want to go there, maybe that would be something to help you realize, like, how far you've come. Or, um, it was, it was connecting these two points, you know, like, where a person was and where they want to be. And, I, again, I feel like sun, yeah, sun, and we'll take that. Um, and something is definitely expanding for you. Um, so again, what would you like it to look like? And I heard, and who's in your wolf pack, you know? Okay. I love you so very much. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you for being a part of this place. May this month be blessed for you. And, uh, yeah, if you're curious on more things that are happening um, well I guess I trust that those who, who seek will find so we'll leave it like that <laughs> I'll talk to you next time peace